back and and this is his horse he's 26 years old yep 26 years old he's had him for 20 years and i've trimmed him once and the problem that he had is that um he had very long 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 flared out toes and so what we're doing is bringing back the toe on him i haven't been over here for four five months and i've only trimmed him once and so this uh, video will be in addition to the ones I've already done on bringing back the toe. Uh, I took some pictures with the regular camera that I got to get developed so that you can see just how long his toes really were so we can keep a record, but I got to get him developed. But uh, I'll do the trim and uh, then take pictures of, of it afterwards because I don't really have anybody to uh, video this. But uh, we want to take a look at Buck's. <laughs> Buck's horse's feet. The horse ain't named Buck. Okay. Now you can see he's extremely flat footed. Um, and that his heels are a little bit run forward. Uh, Buck says that he's never grown any heel. But his toes have just really stretched out there. Um, what you'll see when all is said and done is that he will develop some concavity to this foot once we get the toe backed up the right way yeah actually and he's a nice horse he's got part arab in him and they always have pretty good feet usually just because of the breed so okay Take a couple more pictures of how he's flared out in long code One thing I do like here is that his coronary bands have a real nice okay, angle. So to we're it. done with this ponyo and uh, did the same thing that I showed you in the other videos <laughs> is take all leverage off that toe. Let's see here. See, but I haven't rasped the upper hoof wall. And I didn't scoop the quarters, I just rasped on the sides and it naturally kind of scoops it itself. But taking all the leverage off them toes will help those toes grow down. And... <coughs> did the same thing in the back. Well, let's see here. I can't see and it's raining. Okay, um, could you walk him out? <clears throat> this horse, of course, is not going to go pounding down a gravel road. But at least he's able to break over, and he ain't, he ain't walking as ouchy as he was when I first come out. No. Is he? No. Get him over here in a little more rocky area. You know, I mean, he's going to be a little tender because he's flat-footed, but he ain't, he was a lot, a lot worse before. It was ouch, 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 ouch. So he ain't a gravel cruncher yet, but maybe one of these days he will be. Once we get him all, all the flares worked out. Okay, this, I'm here trimming for a feller named Buck, and he owns Buckaroo's boot and saddle repair shop. And he's got a neat shop with some neat stuff in it. And so we're going to follow Buck in the door of his little shop. Buck is also a barber. If anybody wants to fly in here from any place in the world, uh, <laughs> he'll cut your hair. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Anyway, this is his barber shop here, and this is his saddle shop. And you do boot repair and That's just about right. everything, leather work. It smells good in here, that leather. Um, 
This is in Arma, yeah, Arma, Kansas. He'll make you chinks. He makes what all kinds of things you make? Anything. Anything. Anything you want made, he can make. I just love this shop. Love to come in here and look. Buck probably like it if I came in here to buy. <laughs> Most of the time I can only afford to look. But anyway, he's got anything and everything here. So if there's anybody out there that needs something, um, how would they get a hold of you there? 347-4602. Yeah, 620-347-4602. And he'll send it right out to you. Let's see, let's see what he's got. You know, bits, all kinds of bits, stirrups. If you have anything you want made. Plastic ropes. What? Plastic ropes. Plastic ropes. Reins, McCarty's, saddle blankets, saddle pads. This is a nice saddle pad here. You know, send your boots to him. He'll fix them. He's got all the stuff. Snaps, cinches. Saddles. Calf head. Nice little saddle. That's a Hereford. A Hereford? Mm -hmm. Oh, that is a nice little saddle. So that one over there to your right. Right here? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Alright, there you have it. If anybody's looking for a good used saddle, this is the place to get it. Nice little youth. That'd be a good colt saddle. That's a 15 <laughs> light, inch. Light, just throw it up there. That's a 15 inch saddle. Yeah. It's bigger than the look. But it looks nice and light. Yeah, it is. I always liked having a saddle, you know, a nice light saddle to throw on a colt. Nice head stalls. If you're looking for a nice, sturdy head stall. Oh, I like this one here. That's nice. I like those with those buckles like that. This came with them two saddles. Oh, really? Wow, that's nice. Okay, if anybody's looking for a nice head stall, boy. There you go. Nice bit, too. What kind of bit is that? That's a, uh, a gist. A gist? G-I-S-T. Of course, for all you bitless people out there, you know, you can always just put a little rope around that or something. <laughs> There's a good one. That's a McChesney. Now, that's a nice, nice little bit. That's old. Ain't yeah, it is. Gun leather. Yeah, it can make you gun belts or even a nice belt. That's a nice little belt. Hey. Okay. <laughs> This is going to make a nice thing. Oh, wow. Wow, that's beautiful. We got horses. We got steers. Oh, yeah. We got plain ones. Anybody out there looking to have a nice belt made? Get a hold of Buck. Again, that number is 620. What? 347 4602. 4602. Take a All good right, picture there. of that while there, you're there. We'll take a good, good, where is it? Oh, there it is. Buckaroos Saddle and Tack, Arma, Kansas, 620-347-4602. Anything you need made, he can make her for you. Okay. Thanks, Buck. All right.